So I have decided that I'm going to start looking for a husband again soon. I don't know how I'm going to do it. I don't want to um, do it like I did before. I have a question for the men. Do you guys still want to get married? Like, is that still a thing? No. A lot of men don't want to get married, and it's not because they don't like the thought of having a lifelong partner to be there for them when they need it, but a lot of men don't want to get married because they're avoiding potential divorce. In a lot of cases, divorce ruins a man's life. He has to completely start over, and in general, marriage doesn't benefit men a whole lot. So while a lot of men like the idea of having long-term relationships, it's just not worth it. So yes, a lot of us still want to get married, but it seems like many modern women see marriage differently now. For some, it feels like marriage has turned into a game where they can exit whenever they want. This makes men less eager to tie the knot. Imagine stepping into a marriage, knowing the statistic of divorce initiated by women, it would discourage anyone. The dedication, commitment, love, and companionship that used to define marriage seem to be fading. Men want a stable and secure relationship but if it feels like their partner could leave at any moment, it's hard to feel motivated to get married. This shift in perspective makes marriage look like a risky bet rather than a lifelong partnership. Anyway, I hope that clears things up. Before we dive into more, welcome to my channel. I have plenty of clips to share, so sit back, relax, and let's get started. So I have decided that I'm gonna start looking for a husband again soon. I don't know how I'm going to do it. I don't want to um, do it like I did before. Um, I just did it completely wrong. Stuff for a while. Um, I want to do it the right way this time. And I don't know if guys are going to be open to not taking a very long time to get to know me before uh, marriage. Um, you know, I haven't been out of the game for too long, but I know that there are a lot of guys that want to take a lot of time. There are certain guys who want a certain type of experience beforehand, um, which I don't provide. So it's going to be interesting navigating that. But yeah, I think I'm ready very soon. There's something I find really interesting about these videos. A lot of these women, after spending years chasing guys who aren't serious, suddenly decide they're ready to settle down. They just expect the perfect man to be waiting ready to marry them. Now, they say they hope the guy doesn't take too long to get to know them. But come on, we're talking about a lifetime commitment here. You can't just expect him to sign up because you're finally ready. I'm glad she has tried it before, and it didn't work out, so I'm also here to let her know, men have rushed into marriage before and it often didn't end well. So now, they're not so eager to jump in quickly anymore. They want to take their time to make sure it's right. I got a woman share her experience about losing a good man. Let's check it out. Married for 10 years. I got married young. I was 21, barely, like three days, 21. Um, already had a baby. He was eight weeks old at our wedding. And I remember feeling like my marriage was temporary from the beginning like that I wasn't gonna make it. And I didn't know what that feeling was. I just thought it was waiting for me. I was pushing him away. Um, but I, I never truly accepted happiness. I left the good guy. <laughs> he looks at and is like, that's a dad. That's a husband. That's how it's supposed to be. He did the dishes. He cleaned the house. He took the kids to school. He worked all day. He made good money. He supported us. Um, I mean, yeah, we had our problems, but he was the good guy. So I'm here to tell you <laughs> it's okay to leave the good guy. It's really interesting how this lady justified her actions by saying it's okay to lose a good guy and that there's nothing wrong with it. This really shows why men are backing out of relationships. She admitted that her husband did everything a good husband should, but she still wasn't satisfied. She said she wasn't happy, but happiness comes from within. Her husband couldn't make her happy. That was her own responsibility. So she decided to leave a good man 
making him start over even though he probably had his whole life planned out with her. It's tough to see someone break down a good person just because they couldn't find their own happiness. This is a big reason why men are cautious about jumping into marriage these days. It's possible he might have to share half his wealth with her and have to pay for child support. Since she had the negative feeling from the beginning, it would have been better if she took her decision earlier. Not after the man has invested into the marriage for 10 years, it's actually disheartening. Whenever I see these videos, I start wondering if it means no men are approaching these women. Obviously not. There are definitely men in their DMs and in social places trying to connect with them. But these women often don't accept these guys because they don't meet their unrealistic expectations of maybe a prince charming. They're looking for someone who's six feet tall, wealthy, and fits other idealized criteria. The thing is, some of these men who approach them are genuinely good guys. They might be kind, hardworking, and ready for a serious relationship, but they get turned down because they don't match this perfect image. It's frustrating because these women are missing out on potentially great partners by focusing on unrealistic standards. This trend can make dating really tough for everyone involved. Good men get rejected and feel undervalued, while these women keep waiting for someone who might not even exist. It's a cycle that leads to disappointment on both sides. If we could shift our focus to valuing real, genuine connections over superficial traits, we'd all have a better chance at finding true happiness. Where did all the good men go? Oh, they're at work. Or in their car, commuting to work. They might be on their lunch from work, or they're sleeping from doing so much work. Finally, they could be trapped in the nothing box and staring off blankly into the distance as a subconscious distraction from the perilous dread of work. The average man will spend at least one third of his life at work. See, we as a society, majoritably about three quarters of us in fact, are still telling men that in order to be valued, they should be able to provide for an entire family on their own, despite the fact that seven out of 10 wives now earn as much or more than their husbands. So to answer the question, where are the good men with facts, they're spending most of their time burning themselves down at both ends, desperately trying to please people who don't actually need their money as much as they say they do. So I wonder, I really have this theory. If we were more vocal and expressive in valuing men for their presence, for simply being available for us, for being who they are, like we expect people to do for us, you know, instead of constantly telling them that it was better when they just went to war and sent home a paycheck, then maybe we'd actually have a chance at getting to meet those men. But more importantly, if we removed these superficial standards, maybe they'd have a chance to meet themselves. We have always tried to please women, often going out of our way to make relationships work. But it seems like a lot of women just can't be pleased no matter what. If we aren't getting rejected, we are being told that they need their independence. The reality is, we have given women the space they wanted, and we are now focusing on our own lives. We have stopped bending over backwards trying to make things work when it feels like a losing battle. Instead of constantly trying to meet impossible expectations, we are now more interested in minding our own business and taking care of ourselves. This shift is noticeable in the dating world. We are less eager to chase after relationships that don't feel mutual and fulfilling. We are tired of being put down and are choosing to prioritize our own well-being instead. It's a change that reflects a desire for more balanced and respectful relationships. On Quora, someone asked a question that reads, what is the reason why some men choose not to get married? It also has responses, which I will be reading a few. The first one reads, because marriage doesn't offer anything advantageous. What does marriage offer that you can't get from simply being together as a couple? I have another comment that reads, because when a man puts everything he has into a relationship and it ends, it's too much. The pain is unbearable. He doesn't ever want to go through that again. This will be all for today. What do you think about this video? Let me know in the comments and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell to get notified whenever we post a new video.